here one in this video I want to show you get data from assembly in this section we select an assembly and find configuration and add assembly or if I choose wrong assembly if you want you delete assembly and then you can select the file type for example if you want to just only part custom property you can select and uncheck the assembly or if you both of them you can select like this and if you control customer configuration and I want to show you on SolidWorks if I click the custom property and you will see the custom and configuration the part or assembly just only have one custom property and a lot of configuration property for example default or if I want I add new configuration new configuration and you will see a lot of configuration and so if you want to see custom and configuration property you select both of them um, this is the output option if you wanna you can select a little of assembly in there so if you wanna you can just only one page or if you wanna every assembly creates automatically a new page you can select in this and the last option is output data type uh, CPM volume is custom property manager volume uh, what this mean I will show you in SOLIDWORKS and you will see the value and ex expression in CPM volume is the if you add any material or mats or density and the linking property and you will see or you can select the CPM value because if you update this file in the uh, data update section you can select the CPM value format and if you don't choose what is, uh, what is difference for example if I add the material to <coughs> and I add as a text format and if you change the part material <coughs> it doesn't change so uh, you have to use the link property so if you didn't uh, select the CPM volume you can see you can see the, uh, the text volume so you have to choose and the second uh, result volume is in there and you will see select the result volume and you didn't see any link material you just only see the result volume and the next one is volume and data type and you will see the result volume at the same time you will see the data type what's important for example um, the date is text format um, and the configuration if you check it the date is date format it's important because some people add a date format some people add a text format uh, if you use the or need to user in the company some person at a date format some person at text format uh, some person at like this format I add like this this is the date format the same or if you get any bill of materials you will see the different type and everyone uh, see other type for example this is the date and this is the date or some person confused or if you export or import in the IP system and two types data types uh, it doesn't uh, make a sense so if you control this you can use I save it and and assign the save it and you will see in the report and close them
if you control this data type you can use this option so you can select an assembly and find configuration and why is uh, I'm choosing uh, configuration because uh, family have a lot of configuration uh, some person suppress some parts in a configuration for spatial state for example explode wheel if you create any explosive wheel and maybe you can select or suppress any part I don't know if I open the assembly I check it or I see or uh, I forget so generally I use the default value or default configuration or which you want you can select what you want and I add assembly and I add a new assembly I choose Byte configuration and find the root configuration and this is one configuration so I have to do or I tell you how to use this section and the first one I want to show you the CPM only I click tab the process timing is change your computer or how many parts in assembly or how many select assembly and then you will see the result and I choose one page so to assembly just only select one page and the sheet name is custom property manager because one page and program name or if you use multiple page you will see the assembly name the sheet name and you will see part file, part number, custom type location, reference configuration. This isn't uh, the part you can see this section or this information. Yes, it's correct. You can add this section and you didn't touch in here the section because if you want to update this uh, software part or assembly we use this information so you didn't uh, see in here you just only information you just only focus that and you will see the material in CPM value and you will see the ERP code and date so it's easy I save it in test 2 I close and I interrupt result value and you will see the result value is not linked to material you will see the material name and then My computer is not workstation so it may be slow or it's actually it's very fast and you will see the material name is there oh every material is there and I didn't assign the material you will see and it's easy and uh, the next one you see the date and I want to how is uh, the data type is text or date I want to see so I try to my chair I click there and result value and data type and I will see is text or date format I wish I can select the multiple page anyway 
the last one I will show you. Don't forget. And you will see um, this is the date format. It is not date format. And if you don't see any format, you can understand it's the text format because uh, we use 99% text format, so we couldn't add text format. And I will uh, understand this is the text format. And you will see format just only which format and you will see date number yes or no and text format so if you use a uh, date number yes or no we can use this section I will show you how to add in the update section up that update section and then I will show you the next multiple page and if I click I will see two page. The first one is this assembly, the second one the other assembly. And the sheet name is the assembly name. So understand this is this assembly. And you will see the two page. This is the first assembly name and you will see and this is the second assembly you will see this format. Anyway, click in this video is complete. Thank you for watching.